Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve 16 editing tutorial and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the multicam feature inside of DaVinci Resolve and also how I uh, use multicam with multiple audio sources. Before I begin, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. Okay, so the first thing I have done is I've just imported all of my clips into my project and I just did a little mock interview with a couple of my friends. I've got them each on their own lapel, which has their own separate audio tracks. I've got a mid shot and another mid shot and then a wide shot. So let's sync this up and it's actually really easy to do. You don't have to clap at the beginning, but DaVinci Resolve's multicam feature is extremely powerful. So you, as long as you have a clean audio signal on each of your tracks, it'll do a very good job at syncing it. So let's get into it. So I'm just going to select all of my clips. I'm just going to click and hold shift. And I'm gonna hit control and just deselect the timeline because we don't need to worry about that. And I'm just going to right click and I'm going to create new multicam clip using selected clips. All right, and this window pops up and we can change the name to whatever we want, depending on how many clips you are going to be syncing in the timeline, like different interviews, um, different scenes or whatever, you might want to rename it just so it's easier to find. So I'm just going to call this interview one. One. All right, and I'm going to go down to the frame rate. I'm just going to leave it at 25. This will depend on what you have shot your footage in. I've shot this in 25 frames, so I'm just going to keep it that way. And then I'm going to change the angle sync, which is probably the most important setting that you'll be changing in the multicam clip. We're going to change that from in to sound, and that will analyze the sound of each of the clips and we'll sync it up that way. Um, angle name, you can leave it at sequential, but I'm just going to change it to metadata and camera. If you're shooting on a DSLR and most DSLRs have that four gigabyte limit and it will um, create new clips. If that is what you have, you want to be checking that. So for this tutorial, since everything was smooth, even though I've used for the wide shot, a Canon camera and is a Panasonic. They both split the clips up at a certain time, but this was a really short interview, little mock interview setup. So I'm not going to worry about that. And you've also got move source clips to original clips bin, click create, and it's going to analyze our footage. All right, so as you can see, after we've synced the clips, it's created an original clips bin. So uh, I'm just going to click that and you'll see where um, it's just moved the files. Uh, so we're just going to leave it there. And then um, as you can see, it's created a multicam clip. You can tell that it's a multicam clip by this little icon at the bottom left of the thumbnail. So I'm just going to right click and open in timeline. And let's just scroll through. Okay, so that's sounding sync. There's no echoing. It's all pretty um, smooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shrink the video clips to the size of my Zoom H5 audio recorder. Basically what this will be doing is it's going to make it easier for when we sync up the other track from the H5 recorder because it did a dual recording. And I'm just going to highlight them all and I'm just going to drag it all the way to the beginning of the timeline. And then um, I want to switch back to the main editing timeline. So to do that, it's pretty simple to do. You go over to this icon here, go down to timeline view options, and we're just going to click this first icon here, and that will show us what timelines we have in this project. So I'm just going to switch it over to timeline one, and then I'm going to click and drag our interview one clip into the timeline. All right, so we've dragged our clip in. I'm just going to change the audio source to our main zoom source. So let's just right click on the audio track. It's important that you right click on the track and not the video because when we switch the multicam clip angle to camera zoom handy for H5 recorder, it's only going to switch the audio and not the video. Because I get my ideas. Okay, so we've got our lapel audio there and then I'm just going to click and drag our um, other audio track right underneath and we'll be able to hear 
a perfect mix with both of the subjects talking and from their microphones. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. Anyway, thank you so much. All right, um, there's also a small little issue with um, track number two. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to go to clip attributes and I'm going to change the audio from mono to stereo just by doing that. So I'm fairly happy with this. So now let's get into the multicam cutting. So to see the other camera angles that we have, I'm just going to go to the bottom here in the preview window and we're going to go from source to multicam. I've opened up the uh, multicam window so you can see our different angles. Now the green box just shows that it's our audio source and then the blue is our video source. And then at the bottom here we've got three different icons and it's by default it goes to the middle icon here which will be cutting video and audio. So depending on what you're cutting, most of the times you don't want to be cutting video and audio. You just want to be switching the actual camera angles and leaving the audio where it is. So I'm just going to switch this to video only. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the video clip because I don't want it to start from the mid shot. I want it to start on the wide shot. So I'm going to right click and switch multicam clip angle and change that to camera three, which is our wide angle. All right, so I want it to start roughly here. So I'm just going to trim our clip. So this part is really easy to do. You want to make sure that you aren't selected on any clips and we are going to just um, start cutting and it's very simple. As we want to change the camera angles, we just simply click on the angles we want to change to. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm here with, introduce yourself, Randy Shamo. And what do you do? And as you can see, it's already making cuts to the different angles. Yourself? All right, so I've already made a little mistake here when I'm cutting and um, there's a couple ways to fix it. So if you um, were a bit too slow at cutting to a certain angle, you can use this icon here, the trim edit mode, or you could use N. When we hover over the cut, you can see the icon change. And what this icon is doing is um, it's going to shorten one clip and lengthen the other clip. So if we make a mistake when we wanted to make a cut about here and we missed it, we can actually just pull this clip down and it will and yeah, no gym kind of sucks. But... And it'll cut um, to the angle that we wanted to a bit earlier. So that's one way to do it. Or if you completely mess up which angle you wanted it to cut to, you can actually um, just right click on a certain clip. Let me just uh, change that back to the arrow. I'm just going to right click and and we'll just change it to a different angle. So let's just cut this to about four and it will just change the clip over to the other angle. The colors of each cameras are very different. There is a really easy way to do your color correction and what you can do, let's just say for this tutorial, I want to change my uh, Blackmagic Pocket 4K footage. But the issue is we've cut multiple times and you can either add the grade and then copy and paste the LUT over to each clip. But there's a very quick and easy way to do it. So let's go back to our multicam timeline. So our Blackmagic footage is at the bottom. I'm just going to turn off these for now and then I'm just going to go over to the color tab and I'll just give it a quick LUT just for the sake of this tutorial. We have done our color correction and it's matching every other bit of footage that we have. I'm going to go over to the edit tab again and I'm just going to turn all these cameras back on and then when I go back to the, the timeline it will automatically update the color correction inside of the main timeline. And so that's how you use the multicam feature inside of DaVinci Resolve. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. And I'll see you guys next time.